wrong. Um, welcome, Grade Four A, and I wanted to just show you how to post your games and your activities in Purple Mash. Now, when you go over here, the tools that you use to make something, this is there's lots of tools. Some people think that Purple Mash only got a little bit of stuff. Remember, these are tools and tools you use to make something. So the most common game that you guys like to make is the 3D one, this one over here. So I'll use that as an example because it's the one that you guys enjoy very often make a game in that. I've seen there's some really good games. Now, it says design, play, and share your own 3D games. 3D is three-dimensional. You can actually go into the game as if you like in Minecraft. You're moving in it. So I'm going to quickly show you a simple game that I'm going to make. And then I'm going to delete my game afterwards because mine's just an example. And thank you for, for listening. So I open and I launch the app. Meant to start it. I'm just starting off. And I'm going to go with a simple game. But if you know this, how to do it really well, you can go to multiple levels. And there's lots of interesting stuff you can add on that one. But I'm going to go with a very simple game right in the beginning. Now I'm going to go with a soccer field. I know there's a soccer field. This says ground. So the ground, I'm going to choose a soccer field. There's my little man. Look, over there. But I'm going to put him on the line at the bottom here. Then I'm going to have these monsters. I'm going to chase him. Now in your game... You can make these monsters do things. So if I click on the first monster, this one over here, click on it, movement. I click on the little cross, and it says I can make the monster move randomly. If I just move this over, it can move left and right. I can make it go up and down. But look at this one. This is the exciting one. Hunt the player. So in other words, the monster chases you. So that's going to be quite exciting. So this monster will chase after this little blue man, which is you. Then I'm going to go to this one, and I'm also going to make the monster chase me. I'm going to make all my monsters chase me. So I'm going to go to this one, monster. It says hunt the player, so it's like a hunting game. Monsters are out to just get you. And look what it says. Every time a monster gets bumps against the player, you lose a life. And we've got three lives. When you play this game, you go once you're dead three times, then the game's over, you lose. But I need something to make it win. So I'm going to bring in a coin. So we bring in the coin over here. I'll put it, the coin over there. But I don't want a coin to stand still. I'm going to make it move around. So I go to movement. Click on there. And it says random movement. That means the coin will move around in different ways. If I bump into the coin and can't get the coin, of course there's got to be a prize. So I'll go five points. And there we go. Now, because it's an example game, I don't want to go into too much detail. Always, always... Give instructions and name your game. So look over there. What does that I stand for? Instructions or information. So what I'm going to do is give it a title. I'm going to call it Catch Taya. So it's like that little funny little blue man is Taya. Taya, are you right if I call it that? I don't want to do something if you're not happy with that. All right. And then I'm going to say she is the superhero running from monsters running from monsters if she gets the coin she gets the coin i won't then i'll go on like that and then i'll get the rest of my instructions the person reading your game will read this to know what the game's about and look it's got three lives so i've got three lives i think you can change it yeah well you can make five lives i'm only going to go with three lives you can make like 10 lives. But I'm gonna, it's two. Look, I've got five minutes. I'm going to make it. You have to get that coin in two minutes. Let's make it two minutes. That's quite hard. And then I'm going to go, okay. All right. Now I want my mom to play the game. I want you guys to play my game. How do I do that? I have to get my game out to the world. I want everyone in the world to be able to play my game. So now is the challenge to get the game out. So go like this. When you want other people to play your game... You go to that little world, world. You see the world there? And it's got a red arrow around it. You click on it. And of course, I cannot get my game out there unless I've named it and saved it. So I'm going to go call it Teo Superhero. Because she is a superhero to me. You're all superheroes. Teo is a superhero. Hero. Better spell hero in. I don't know. A super, you can call, call girls superheroes also. 
I know that some people say you must call them heroines, but superhero. Because I even saw Catwoman, they say, oh, she's a superhero. So, Teo, superhero. That's my game. Look, it's loading. Now it's asking me, how do you want to share your game? Now, there are ways of sharing here with the internet and all different things. This is one way of doing it. And this is sending it by email. And this is a blog. So, we'll start off with a blog. So, I click on that. I click there. Click on it. And you can see, look, it says, these are all the Brian Evan blogs. Brian Evan Games. So there's even a one that says Brian Evan Films. You guys are so good with your films. So I've made one called Brian Evan Films. If you make any film using Purple Mash, you can put it on Brian Evan Films. But now we are doing Brian Evan Games. So I click on Brian Evan Games. Now look there, it's asking me the name of my game. They call that the title, the name of my game. So I say, Taya in Magic World. That's I'll just call it World. And then I say, Try to be a superhero, the superhero Taya, superhero Taya, and get the coin. Get the coin. And I could write, okay, the monster's going to chase you. Every time the monster hits you or lands on you, then you, you lose a life and you only got three lives. But I don't, I'm only giving you an example. Now go there and look, it says your blog post has been added. Good. So now I'm finished. You come into Purple Mash, and you want to see other people's games now. You want to play it. But you go over here. Sharing. Look, it says sharing. And there's the world, but the red arrow is now a green arrow. The, the reason why they use the red arrow is because red's for saving. So we go sharing. Look there. Shared blogs. Go there. Brian Evan Games. Look, this is Brian Evan Games. We've got the world. Click on it. And wow, it'll take a while because you can see a lot of people already put their games in our school. Our school's got piles of people who are putting games on already. Look, it's loading. Dino. Oh, there's a, someone wrote all this nonsense over there. Escape from Hawkins something. Uh, look over there. There's lots of games. Wow, these children are putting games like crazy. Why are you guys not putting games on? Look over there. Taya and Magic World. And that's my game. It says play. I click on there. Taya and Magic World, made by Mr. Bradley. It'll have your name there. Click on Play. And I'm going to go and now start the game. I just want to go superhero, be a superhero. Look. Oh, I'm turning. There. Oh, oh the monster. I've got to try to get... Oh, I died. Oh, okay, let's see if I can go again. Yeah, I'm going to try to get that coin. So I'm going... Oh. Yeah, and you can get your game. Um, uh, that coin. And the, remember that coin moves. Oh, come on. You've got to chase out. All right. Now, you guys, you must make your own game. Don't make a game so bad, boring like mine. Make your game a really good game. And you must put it on. And next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can get your mom can play it. And your dad can play it. And anyone in the whole world could play your game. All right. So, good luck with your game. And putting on the blog. And then also try to play other people's games. See if, and always over here, it says in the blog, comment. Then you can write, Mr. Bradley, this was not such a nice game. You can make it better by doing this and give a person some advice on how to make their game better. Right. Good luck, guys. Uh, thanks for listening so well. I really appreciate it. Whenever I see your class coming to me, I think, gee, we must do a video on YouTube because you're like such a good class.